I invite you to hear the word of God as it's being read today. Advent is a time of promise and preparation. The promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off. The promise is Jesus comes. God created the world good, but we sin and evil came into the world. God promised he would do something about it. The sacrifices were signs that one day God would place our blame and guilt on another and take our blame and guilt away. He would be born pure, born of a virgin, an innocent holy being. Yet we laid on him our sin. Hear the readings of promise from Isaiah 7 and Deuteronomy 18. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. And Moses said, God your God is going to raise up a prophet for you. God will raise him up from among your kinsmen, a prophet like me. Listen obediently to him. And the promise contains a further promise that one day he will come again, a second advent, to set all aright. Hear the words of Daniel 7. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days. And they brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion and glory, a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our second lesson from the Gospel according to Luke, when the good news comes to us as the good news comes to Mary. The angel said to her, don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God.
Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem in obedience to the Roman government for a taxation census because he was of King David's line and Bethlehem was David's hometown. There the baby Jesus was born and the promise was being met with God's great love and faithfulness. The news spread. God himself sent messengers, angels, to spread it to the poor shepherds who kept the lambs who would be sacrificed in Jerusalem. The news was that the Lamb of God was born, and we have something to sing about. Glory to God. Hear the word of God from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, and Micah 5, 2. First from Micah. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come from me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. From the Gospel of Luke. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our fourth lesson comes from the Gospel according to Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. God is faithful to keep his promise. That the promise is fulfilled means we can rely on God and his love, even if life is hard. God cares for us and showed his faithful love best by coming down in the person of Jesus. The congregation is invited to join the choir on verse 3 after uh, the singing of the choir. Hear the word of God from Lamentations 3. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, 
I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. The word of the Lord.
Our sixth lesson from the Gospel according to Matthew charges us to be watchful. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oils, oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a shout. Look, here is the bridegroom. Come out and meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came. And those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet. And the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids came along, came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. glory belongs to God. He brings joy to the world and hope to the hopeless, comfort to those who have no comfort of their own. Apart from him, we can do nothing, but with him, all things are possible. He fulfilled and fulfills his promise to us. 
Hear the word of God from Luke chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. 